Hi everybody, today we're going to learn about mixed numbers in Desmos. A mixed number has a whole number part and a fraction part. Let's start by how we would enter a mixed number into Desmos or any other calculator. Let's enter the number 7 and a half. The first way I can enter the number is 7 space 1 divided by 2. Notice when I hit enter, nothing happens, I just have my 7 and a half. My second option is to hit 7 plus 1 half, and this time it gives me the form 7.5. The difference between the entries is that the first entry, 7 and a half, is a number. There was no operation to complete. In the second entry, I asked it to add 7 and the number 1 half, so it simplified the result. If I hit the box over box, for both of the solutions, you'll see they're both 15 over 2, which shows me they're the same answer. Let's quickly talk about the 15 over 2. Mixed numbers can also be written as improper fractions. This means we have a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. This is going to happen any time I have a mixed number. What we want to be able to do is change any mixed number into an improper fraction, and you can see we can easily do that in Desmos. So any mixed number I want to enter, like 8 and 2 thirds, I can do by using the space bar or by using an addition sign. In the first case, it's not going to give me a decimal number, but I can hit the box over box to convert it to an improper fraction. And in the second case, where I put in an operation, it's going to give me a decimal that I can also flip back to an improper fraction. Let's talk about reversing that which means we'll start with an improper fraction and we want to write our solution as a mixed number. For example, let's use 15 divided by 4. It tells me 3.75, so I know a lot of my number. The whole number is 3. To get the fractional part, I could subtract 3, which tells me 0.75, and then I can convert that to a fraction, which says 3 over 4. Now I can compare 3 and 3 fourths to my original 15 over 4 by clicking the box over box. If the number had more decimals, say I had 18 divided by 7, I would do the same thing. I can see the whole number part is a 2, so I'm going to subtract that from the original fraction, which gives me this 0.57142857 1429. I'm going to convert that to a fraction, which says 4 over 7, so I hit a space, 4 over 7, and then I can confirm my solution by clicking the fraction box, which says it gives me 18 over 7. If you have operations with mixed numbers, you will complete the operations in the calculator, then convert to the requested format. So pay attention to the directions and whether you should put in an improper fraction or a mixed number as your solution. As an example, if I have 3 and 2 fifths plus 4 and 1 eighth. Make sure you use the proper spacing and use the arrows to come out of the denominator before you enter the next number. I can see that my answer is 7.525. As an improper fraction, that would be 301 over 40. Or as a mixed number, I know the whole number part is 7, so I'll subtract 7, which gives me 0.525. I'll convert that to a fraction, which is 21 over 40, so I put 21 over 40. And then if you want to compare to the original number, I could get rid of the 7, look at the 301 over 40, and check that I also get 301 over 40. You do want to be very careful with negative mixed numbers. It'll be helpful to look at negative a with the fraction b over c as negative the quantity a with the fraction b over c. Let's say I had negative 3 and a half. So I want to make sure we take a number that we're familiar with. When I hit the fraction, it says negative 7 over 2, so it recognizes that as negative 3.5. If I put in negative 3 plus 1 half, notice that I'm not getting the same number. It converted to negative 2.5. What you would need to do is put parentheses around your fraction and your whole number to get the correct decimal. If we had an improper fraction, like negative 17 over 4, and we want to write this as a mixed number, we can see that we're looking at negative 4.25. 
it might be helpful to go to positive 4.25 and think about the whole number part as being 4, subtract the 4, which gives me the 0.25, change it to a fraction, which gives you 1 fourth. So I can put a space 1 fourth. Now if I want to look at negative 17 over 4, I would write negative 4 space 1 over 4. And notice when I hit the fraction, it'll tell me that's negative 17 over 4. So you may need to flip back and forth, negative positive, to make sure you have the right fraction when you have negative numbers. Negative numbers can come up on their own by doing operations. If I was given 3 and 1 fifth, and I needed to subtract, and let's do a parenthesis here, 8 and 2 over 7. Notice my answer is negative 5.085714285712. Now it might be a little tricky to change this into a mixed number, so let's talk about what we can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this into a fraction. I get negative 178 over 35. Let's look at positive 178 over 35. I know the whole number part is 5. I'll subtract that 5 and then change that to a fraction which is 3 over 35. Remember to hit the space bar, 3 over 35. And then to make it negative, I just write negative 5 space 3 over 35. Remember, you can always check things by clicking the fraction button and comparing to your original answer. So be careful with the negative numbers, put parentheses around it when you need it, and remember to compare back to your original solution.